hello what's up guys it's your boy ken um welcome to the channel uh today i'm just gonna be showing you guys how to tune your intel system for gaming if you have the cpu and you're mainly gaming i'm gonna show you my settings um i personally think that this is the optimal settings for gaming um lower temps um smoother experience and you know no risk of degradation and yeah, um, a lot of people have been requesting um, to for me to make this video. So here it is. Uh, this is a review channel. But you know what, guys? We don't gatekeep information here. I want everyone to have the best. And I want everyone to have a great time. But yeah, um, this is my PC right now. Z790 Aorus Pro X. Uh, 1400k my 7800x 3d is not up and running right now and honestly if i play competitive games mostly and i just prefer intel when it comes to competitive games for esports titles i personally think it's just better but that's just my personal opinion but you know you do you but anyways you guys can see we're at the uh, where's bios version f2 this is like the second oldest one i don't really feel like upgrading to like the latest bios but anyways um i don't don't want this video to be long but yeah um cpu base clock leave this an auto enhanced multi-core performance leave it an auto performance cpu clock ratio um 57 or 5.7 gigahertz for 1400k it's 57 for 14700k is 55 for 13900k it's 54 or 5.4 for 13700k is 53 um for you guys who are wondering like hey um i thought the cpu can do 6 gigahertz it can but i'm not going to show you guys how to do that um for gaming it doesn't really make any sort of like a difference like it's extremely minor and you get more benefit of like overclocking your ram but i'm not going to show you guys how to overclock your ram because I'm also really not that good at overclocking um, DDR5. Um, there's too many variances like CPU quality, um, IMC, um, your motherboard, and then your RAM as well. But um, efficiency CPU clock ratio, this is for your e-core, set that to auto. Um, my ring is overclocked to 50. Um, set it to 50 on min max. Um, I can do 5.2 or 52, but, you know, um, again, the ring, um, it doesn't really make too much difference for, uh, for 50 versus 52, so I just leave it mine at 50. Um, let's go to advanced CPU settings. Energy efficient turbo, disable this. CPU flex ratio override, leave it on disabled. TVB disabled. Um, this one the cep i disable mine um if you are under voting with ac dc load line leave this on enabled but if you are you know gonna use adaptive v core or fixed v core just disable this thing um since i'm using fixed v core or adaptive v core um i'm disabling mine legacy game mode compatibility disabled um this one virtualization technology if you play Valorant, <laughs> if you if you're a Valorant player, leave this enabled. Or if you use uh, any sort of like, uh, let's say VMware for example, keep it on. Um, if not, just disable this because you don't really need it. Dynamic tuning technology disabled. Number of CPU P cores eight. Uh, number of CPU E cores enabled zero. Um, we're disabling E cores since we're mainly gaming on this rig. And this is my gaming profile for my productivity. I have this on, but um, when you're gaming, you don't really need the e-cores because what the Windows does is when you're in a game, it basically just parks it. And since the P cores are the priority, um, you know, you, there's really no reason for you to have e-cores enabled. And, you know, sometimes this can actually be a negative thing and it can cause some sort of like bad performance or micro stuttering if the game goes or utilizes the e-cores instead of the p-core then you know you're gonna have some sort of like an issue in game but you know just leave this on disabled or zero and also if you have this enabled um your ring probably maxes out at like 
48 or like 49. Um, what you can do though is if you really want to use eCourse, um, even if you're mainly gaming, you can enable this maybe, I don't know, maybe just enable 8 eCourse and then disable your hyper threading above like right here just disable the hyper threading and then turn on 8 e cores just to handle like the background tasks and yeah um turbo power limits enabled uh package power limit one set to 253 watts for the duration it doesn't really matter because my pl1 and pl2 are both at 253 watts um like this CPU at 5.7 gigahertz doesn't even draw like close to like 253 watts. I think my max is like 163. Core current limit amp set it to 400 amps and then that's it. For memory, um, like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, teach you guys how to overclock your RAM. Um, if you have a, a gigabyte refresh motherboard like those uh, Elite X, Elite X AX, um, Aorus Pro X, Aorus Master X, or if you have a ASRock Nova, um, these are eight layer PCB boards. Um, you know, you could just run XMP for 7200. Depending on your kit, uh, 7200 should work perfectly fine. Anything above that, um, you might have to like fiddle with the voltages and yeah, like if you're looking to build a 14th gen for some reason, um, I know 7800X3D and 9800X3D are pretty much a myth right now, um, especially like in Canada. Um, if you really need a system and you ended up buying an Intel system, um, I highly recommend getting a Z790 gigabyte refresh motherboards like the Aorus Pro X. Uh, they're dirt cheap right now. Elite X, Elite X AX, Master X. Um, I'm actually going to replace this board with like a Master X because the price difference is like $30 um, or an ASRock Nova. Um, I highly recommend getting a Team Group 7200 kit. Um, yeah, just run XMP on the memory. Um, let's go under the voltages. As you guys can see, um, I'm running Adaptive V Core and my offset mode set to Legacy. Internal CPU V core offset, negative 0.05 volts. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I was running a 1.3 volts fixed and LLC turbo, but um, I prefer this uh, setting because it downclocks my CPU when I'm just idling. Um, because at fixed V core 1.3 volts, like the idle power consumption is a little bit higher. And I like it to be a little bit lower because I leave my PC on overnight, like five days a week. Because I this is basically my alarm clock too. So yeah, go to advanced voltage settings. And then under CPU VRM settings, sorry, the camera is falling off. Um, since we are not under volting through AC DC load line, um, we're just gonna leave these at auto. And then under here, um, IA VR voltage limit. Now this is your vid. Um, if you set this to 1400, um, your vid uh, limit will be at 1.4 volts. Um, if you leave the adaptive V core settings to like auto without like a negative offset, um, a 1400K at 5.7 gigahertz should need no more than like 1.32 volts uh depending like if you really really have a bad cpu maybe set it to like 1330 like 1.33 um i think it, you should be fine i could go lower like if i'm leaving that on auto i can just leave this at like 1.3 and you know it's gonna be perfectly fine um because i tested my cpu and it's stable at 1.3 volts um anything lower than that it starts clock stretching so yeah but i'm running 1.4 volts on my vid and then the adaptive offset right here um internal cpu v core auto and then negative 0.05 since we're already at the bios um 
you guys need to disable some stuff right here io ports um since i play esports titles at 1080p um i don't use rebar and 4g decoding it just you know works uh better like this i get more fps uh this one disable any sort of like utilities downloader and just makes your pc slower serial port disabled usb config now if you want to update your bios to like a flash drive um you want to disable this and then after the update just disable them you don't really need these and then network stack configuration network stack disabled nvme configuration nothing to see there sata since i'm only rocking uh nvme drive disable it because you don't really need it and vmd setup menu disabled so yeah i think i pretty much covered everything here yeah that's it for the bios settings now let's go to the windows real quick so here is the hw info as you guys can see the core vid the vid max is out at 1.329 v core max is 1.308 now when i'm gaming um just look at my previous video because um i already did a benchmark with the exact same settings it's just a higher uh ram oc because i have a I have a 7600 profile with um tight timing so you know just look at that so you can see uh the temperature while playing um cs2 i guess which is cp intensive and yeah um everything looks good guys like you know your cpu shouldn't degrade at um 1.3 volts and the cpu also runs cooler and your system will run quieter um your games will run smoother and uh what time it is 6 18 a.m i haven't slept yet you know i want really want to make this video for you guys but yeah, um, I hope you guys uh, find this video helpful. If you have any questions, um, comment down below. Like the video so a lot of people can see it. So the video goes to like the algorithm. And then, you know, if you want to see my gear reviews, um, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be reviewing the Magger 68 HE Pro. Um, the I'm currently rocking a super light too, but... I'm thinking about, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to be reviewing this mouse pad as well, like the Deagle mouse pad. It's well overdue. I've had this pad since July. Um, the Wiseau mice, I might make a video for these and the, and the OGM Pro V2. But I also have the Anufi keyboard coming again. So yeah, um, thank you for watching, guys.